Hello, gorgeous soul. This is an extraordinary week. This is the week where Jupiter and Saturn meet at naught degrees Aquarius. There's 0.1 degree in it. What does that mean? Well, Jupiter and Saturn meet every 20 years. They've been in Earth signs for 200 years and they haven't been this close since 1600 and something. It is massive news. You know, we all hear about the age of Aquarius. Aquarius? It is Aquarius too, but it's also Aquarius. So we've heard about this big shift for all of humanity and it's happening now. It's the beginning, I grant you that, but it's a huge, important and significant event, not just for the whole of humanity, but also for our individual soul's journey. Now, when I talk about this, yes, Saturn changes signs every two years or so. Yes, Jupiter changes signs every year. But this conjunction is of such great power that I believe the lesson, the energy, the vibe that we're picking up from this is a lesson for our soul journey, not just for a, you know a couple of years, but for the rest of our existence on this earth. It is super important. And this is what it's all about. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello, gorgeous Sagittarius. Are you ready for the next adventure? Yeah, baby, you are always ready for the next adventure. Well, the next adventure is gonna, well, actually you're gonna find it quite uplifting because the last few years, the energy for you has been very static. It's been about building things, building security, potentially building abundance. So I hope you've done a bit of that. But but it's about being about feeling safe in the world. And, and you're leaving that energy now to be much more free spirited, which suits you to gallop towards a new way of communicating. Information is the name of the game for the next chapter of your soul. And it's about you looking at the way that you communicating and because it's Saturn taking responsibility for the way that you communicate, not passing the buck, taking responsibility, but also if you want to do something and communicate something important or build, um, I don't know, if you're self-employed, if you want to build a job, if you want to uh, communicate, I mean, communication is key in everything, isn't it? If you want to make that work for you, you've got to take responsibility for your part in anything that's cocked up in that area, but also you've got to do the work. You've got to do the work on what you want to put out there because there is potential for you to catch the ear of powerful people, to catch the ear of groups of people, uh, and people are willing to listen to you more. Uh, so get in there, get stuck in and do the work. Also lots of interesting, unusual and exciting information coming to you with the energy here. Now Jupiter's going, you do the work, I'm gonna help you out, but you've gotta stretch your perception of, you know, often, like for instance, you know, in our friendship group or in our world, everybody may have the same ideas or we're used to the ideas of everyone. We're used to the conversations we have. Some groups of people may talk about art, others may talk about politics, but it's, you know, that's the way that it is. This is saying, you know, chuck that all out the window. It's about talking to loads of people, meeting people with different ideas, ideas you've never heard of. It's about exploring your mind, exploring your thoughts and getting excited about your ideas and what you can do with them and put out there in the world. Now, interestingly, the start of this week, we have the sun in that security zone that you've been working with for a long time and also Mercury and the sun um, in that zone, trine, uh, your health and well-being and your taking care of detail zone. If you are careful, you can build up something substantial. There is a pathway opening up for you and hopefully you're secure enough in yourself to go forward and express yourself in a new way. Let us see what the tarot has in store for you, darling Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Let's go. Um, look out for an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This is actually a very intellectual being, the King of Swords, someone that likes to communicate, but they're very fixed in their ideas normally. You've also uh, got a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. I mean, obviously, it is the, the week to meet family and mix with people, whether that's on Zoom uh, or, you know, depending on your friendship bubble, etc. The Ten of Pentacles seems to be the card of the week. It's about us knowing 
um, that we're protected and, and you are being protected in some way, but also people are looking at you and seeing your potential. So don't screw it up now. Keep going. Be aware that the cosmos is watching you. And then you've got the Ace of Swords, the potential for breakthrough when it comes to money. But also this is the sword of truth and communication. Speak your truth. Go after your goals. Success is imminent. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. MichelleKnight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. That and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family, and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got the job, I, I prayed that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers as well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michelleknight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.